All right, so everyone, welcome today. We are playing the Broken, not the Broken Age, just Broken Age. Um, this is a game I've had in my Steam for many, many years now. I think I played it back in 2014. Jesus Christ, that was almost 10 years ago. Um, I bought it because it looked interesting, and I remember this game is divided into two acts, Act 1 and Act 2, but only Act 1 rele ha released when I bought it. And then Act 2 came out, and I never played it. And it's just been stuck in my Steam account for de for like over a decade, almost a decade now. Ah, oh, Jesus Christ. But uh, this is a Double Fine game. Double Fine is a game studio known for like... The two biggest games that you'll probably know for them are either Brutal Legend, which is a weird RTS action hybrid mashup in like a fantasy world with everything inspired by or using like rock and roll there's a lot of rock rock and songs and there's like jack black's the main character and it's it's a weird game it was fun i remember playing it and thinking it was really fun but like it's a weird game and then the other one that everyone knows is psychonauts like most people i know who play psychonauts really like that game but this is like a point and click adventure they wanted to make and i thought i'd finally get it out of the way i'm trying to get a bunch of my older games out of the way i'm out of the way so here we go and I remember this continues probably from when I left off nine years ago. I don't know what that's about, so we're going to do a new game. We're going to do a new game here. Yes, we are. I do remember this mechanic where, like... There's two characters in two very different um, scenarios going on. Um, let's start with this young lady. Okay. Rise and shine, Bella. Guess it's time to face the cupcakes. Come on, Bella. Everybody's uh, waiting for you. Give me a second. Okay, so yeah. So, is there anything I can press or? I get it. Is there anything I can press on or? Okay. I'm here. I'm here. Nice little area. There you are. I was getting worried. Worried that I chickened out? No. I know you're not afraid of anything. I mean, what's to fear? This is a great honor. Right. Wait. I can't tell if you're being serious. Well, there is one part that I'm really afraid of. What's that? I'm afraid that you won't get any food because I'm going to beat you to the Maiden's Feast. Dream on. So she's being honored for something, something called the Maiden's Feast, and her name is Vela. Uh, okay, so is there anything else I can click on here? Ah, sugar bunting, where the sweetness is baked right in. No time to go to town now. Get in the house. I am clicking on things so I can get a nice view. Ah, sugar bunting, where the sweetness is baked right in. No time to go to town now. Get in the house. Okay, fine, I'll get in the house. God. Way to ruin the surprise. No backing out now. Surprise! Whoa. Yay! There is my Valoria. Oh, look at my pretty girl. I can't believe. I just can't believe. We're very proud of you. I think that's what your mother is trying to say. She's not even dressed yet? Can we do that after cake? Come on, cake first! All right, but come on. Let's get this good time over with. Oh, yes, cake. Now, where did I put that knife? Nobody touches that cake until I find the ceremonial knife. <sighs> I like the old man already. <laughs> uh, let's, let's chat with some people. Or just click on things. Maybe the knife is under this towel. <laughs> Never gonna find it. Dad, I hope you're not hiding that knife for your own good. 
Oh, so I got a cloth. My mom's special dish towels, and it's still dry. Okay. Um, what about you? Know where mom's knife is, Rocky? If I did, we'd all be eating cake right now. I mean, is there more I can say to her? You seem excited. I am. I think I'm gonna barf. That could be all the cupcakes you've been eating. I'm just sad I'm too young. I wish we didn't have to wait 14 years for another mog. I'll try to make you proud, Rocky. I'm already proud of you, stupid. She, uh, she's Cupcakes. might develop. Oh my god! Yay! Is that it? Cupcakes! <laughs> oh my god! Yay! Okay, so this is one of those games where you want to click on multiple people. Hey, Dad. Don't suppose you have another knife in the back we can use? I do, but your mom brought out a special one she wants to use. She wants everything to be perfect on your special day. Aw, that's nice. Also, I recognize that voice actor from somewhere. You sure this Maiden's Feast is a good idea, Pops? I... It's what you want, right? I guess so. I mean, you hear about it all your life. I'm just starting to wonder. Don't worry, sweetheart. You'll do great. I see. Last chance to stop this thing, Pops. <laughs> you kidder. Okay, I think that's the one for that. Talk to Mom? Mom? I was just wondering, what if we fought the monster instead of feeding it? That's my girl. Now that's beast ender blood talking. Please, my loves, don't make this any harder than it already is. <laughs> so, we're making something for, we're making stuff for this big monster. Mom, I was just wondering, what if we fought the monster? Okay, so that we, okay, we can skip it that way. Well, I know the grandpa has it because he's acting super sus, but I hope that dress isn't to scale. How would I walk in that thing? I hope that dress isn't to scale. Lavina? What is it, girl? Any idea where mom's knife is? We're late. If I knew I would have cut that cake, shoved it down your gullets, and had us out the door already. Oh. Can I ask you about the Maiden's Feast? Weren't you paying attention in Maiden training? How many of these feasts have you organized? Let's see. A new Grand Mog appears every 14 years, and I'd have seen six of them, so... Hey! Are you trying to get my age out of me? I'll never tell. So at minimum, you're 84 years old. Got it. What is Mog Chopra? The latest in a long, distinguished line of Grand Mogs to visit our land. Distinguished? Well, anything that lives that long becomes distinguished. I mean, look at me! <laughs> Where do creatures like Mog Chopra come from? They come from beyond the Plague Dam. I want to go beyond the Plague Dam someday. It's forbidden! But maybe you'll be lucky enough to be taken there soon in Mog Chopra's stomach. How much do we know about these Grand Mogs? The Grand Mogs have visited our lands for as long as anyone can remember. They hide in the wilderness for years, and then they come to feed. After feeding, they return to their land and, it is imagined, breed. You actually imagine that? Eh. <laughs> Why was I chosen? In every town visited by a Grand Mog, the villagers vote for the maidens who represent their town's best qualities. So in other words, beats me. Mog Chothra attacks other towns? Of course! Maryloth just had their maidens feast yesterday. That's how we know he's coming here next. <sighs> They're a pretty tough act to follow. Amazing feather work. Okay. I think I know all I need to know about the Maiden's Feast. All you need to know is how to look pretty in your dress. We'll take care of the rest. So it sounds like um, each town has their own specific way that they please this Mog Chothra. Um, and I'm guessing Sugar Bunting is all about uh, sweets. So why don't we just fight Mog Chothra? Silence! Talk like that could ruin the Maiden's Feast. If you destroy the feast, Mog Chothra will destroy this village, including your family. Is that what you want? No. My grandpa doesn't look too happy about this feast. Your grandpa is just stuck in the ways of old. Your grandma was the same way. 
And bless her soul. Not all of the town elders have stayed as hip and with it as I have. I'd better go look for that knife. And hurry. If we're late, you won't be selected and your family will be shamed. Okay. Um, also, apparently you are not a member of my family. Lavina? What is it, girl? I'd better go. All right. So, let's see. We got pies over here. Not until I find that knife, young lady. She already caught me using my fingers. <laughs> Eyes in the back of her head, that woman. Okay, so yeah. Hey, Grandpa. I know you have the knife. Grandpa Beastender? <laughs> Beastender. Okay, so he's a monster slayer. Hell yeah. Do you know where Mom's knife is? <laughs> Wouldn't tell you if I did. I'm not doing one thing to help for this shame feast. Yeah, I'm not sure how I feel about this Maiden's Feast either, to tell you the truth. Then fight it, girl! Stand up for yourself! I hope you're not filling that girl's head with nonsense, Brommel. <laughs> Why do you hate the Maiden's Feast, Grandpa? Because this used to be a town of warriors. It's a travesty, Bella. Why'd we stop being warriors? Lavina Clench and her ilk said there was too much bloodshed, pushed for appeasement. So we went soft, became a town of bakers. I mean, baking's on a very noble tradition. I like bakers. Bakers fill my life with joy. But, like, mostly I but I don't see any bread. I just see a lot of cupcakes. So you're more like uh, patissiers. Hey, Gramps, want a cupcake? Um, yes. <laughs> I'd better go find that knife. Don't you dare. I hid it for a reason. You did what? Oh, nothing. Learn all you can about sugar bunting. Grandpa Beastender? <laughs> I'd better go. Alright, so he's not there, so. Oh, where is that darn knife? Where would he have hidden it? Maybe I have to go outside and find it. No backing out now. Too many people would see me. Mm, let's see. Think, Maria, oh. Think. No backing no. out now. No. Too many people would see me. Is there? Hey, don't go get dressed yet. I don't want you getting cake on your good outfit. Oh, a little frosting never hurt a maiden's feast gown. I just want to go check inside the room. Okay. Um. Where would he have hidden it? Uh, let's see. Were there, were, are there any other places for me to actually, um... Grandpa Beastender? I'd better go find... Nope. Um... Uh, nope, that's all just Grandpa Beastender. One of my mom's special dish towels. And it still dropped me to towel, Grandpa. Why? Do I look like some old drooling invalid to you? <laughs> Okay, so oh, that's my next thing. Let's just throw let's just throw this towel at random people and see what happens. I don't want to mess up the frosting. What does this do? I'm tempted to snap her with it, but I don't want to embarrass my mom. Yeah, yeah. Nope. Need a towel? Do you see any frosting on my face? No. You're very neat. I know how to hide the evidence of cupcake stealing. Uh, hey, Dad. He's already got a towel. I can see that, but I wanted to double check. Where would I? The only thing she wants is that knife. So maybe if I put it. Hiding them won't do any good. Rocky's got the scent. Maybe on a pie? Drying that won't help. This feels like I'm out of ideas for here. But if I remember correctly. Wait, if I remember correctly, there's a. There's a, uh, there's a system, there's a system where, like, if I can't find something here, I can actually switch it over to this guy and get the thing, so I guess we're gonna check out and see what's going on with this guy. No. Ooh. Hey, rise and shine, son. You better get up. I'm almost off, dude. Mom's gonna be here soon, and you know how she is. Oops, here she comes. Have a great day, Shane. There's my little angel. Oh, computer.
snooze. No more snoozies for my little spaceman this morning. Oh, I hope no bad tinkle fairies came and wet your bed during the night. Where is that? Oh. Computer, off. Come on and get up, Shay. Lots of important adventures to go on today. Get up now, Mr. Man, or I'll turn on the mean sound. Okay, you asked for it. I'll just keep sleeping. I'll just keep going. I've slept through plenty of alarms, lady. Let's go. Also, you're apparently voiced by Jennifer Hale. That's awesome. Because I can recognize that voice from a mile away. Come on. Oh, okay, fine. Computer? Oh, quit being so shy. I used to change your diaper. Choco Rockets? Sure. What difference does it make? You've got a lot of those on the floor. What the hell? Okay, uh... Good morning, Commander Shea. It is my honor to be your trading spoon today. Ugh. I wonder if this bowl is as sick of cereal as I am. Can't wait to start mission nutrition. I wonder if this bowl is as sick of cereal as I am. Yeah. Just pick me up and we'll start filling you up with space fuel. Yes! You won't be sorry, Commander. Once more into the Milky Breach. It's happening. It's really happening. Now, sir, I don't just serve food. I also serve up nutrition facts and eating encouragement. For instance, that last spoonful was exactly 7.1 calories. Did you? Uh-oh. Uh, Commander? Aren't you excited to see what the big deal is? Up on the bridge? No? Well then, want to know the viscosity of this morning's synthetic milk? Okay, computer. What's the big emergency? I wish you'd call me Mom, sweetie. I wish you called me Captain, computer. Okay, Captain, sweetie. Let's get down to business. We are currently tracking multiple developing crises that need urgent attention. First of all, a massive avalanche has been reported on the planet Galactica. Second, there's a runaway train in System 7 that's headed for Spike Canyon. We've also received a Mayday signal from the vessel Friendship Circle. They're under attack. And, uh-oh, uh this just came in. My sensors are reporting an entity of unknown origin has attached itself to the hull of this very ship. What are your orders, sweet, uh, Captain? Um, better suit up and investigate that foreign body. Better suit up and investigate that foreign body. Ooh, I don't like you going out there. Let's use the safety suit. Ah, oh, come on. Off we go. I mean, that seems like the most quote-unquote, like, serious, um, thing. So, this guy's stuck on here with a bunch of robots and AI, and he's miserable. Because he's just the same thing every fucking day. I fire... They... I mean, I think that entire, like, game co console that he was on literally was just a bunch of squeaky toys, so... I'm outside the ship. The foreign body must be very close by. Uh, let's see, let's... What do we got here? Woo! Actually... Aww. Lame. There we go. What do we got? I found the object. It appears to be something organic in nature. Something's telling me I should stick my face right into it. Yeah, of course. Get off of me! Get off! Ah, it's like it. Got a special nutrition taste for you today. 
tater tot flavor. Ugh. Oh. Oh no. My, uh, the game crashed. That's unfortunate. Or no, it didn't. That was, un that was unfortunate. Ready for your next exciting space mission, honey? We've got an avalanche, a runaway train, a spaceship under attack, and a mysterious object on the hull. We already did the hull. Is there anything else I can click on? Um. We need to help those avalanche victims. I knew you'd want to help them, sweetie. Flying a course for Planet Galactica. All right, what do we got at this Planet Galactica? This is the massive avalanche? It's worse than it looks! Really? How? It's an ice cream avalanche! Yay! I mean, ah! Uh, That's not worse. Just eat yourself out of that shit. Alright, let's go. Take your time. Eating isn't a race. God, that's a lot of ice cream. <laughs> You're going to love this dinner pill. Fried chicken, kind of. Oh, God. What mission should we go on next, sweetie? Um. Let's catch that runaway train. Aye, aye, Captain Sweetie. To System 7. Yeah, I just kind of figured the spoon would be the most useful thing there. Okay, that's kind of creepy. Thanks for keeping it safe. Enough lives saved today. Yeah, that looks like a good idea. All right, so the dad bought. It's time to go, sport. So much to do today. Come on, sweetie. Yep, go back through all that stuff. Yikes. No way. I think I'd rather eat a bug. Honey holograms. No thanks, computer. Nappy lumps? Yuck. You know I hate that. Soylent dreams. That one's kinda fucked up. No, not in that kind of mood today. Crispy bunches of space. Man, that sounds horrible. Brand blasters? How many of these are there? Ugh, take that away. Strawberry comet trails. Please don't take this personally, but no thanks. Whole green nutrient paste? Are you kidding? Gross. You did lunch. How many of these are there? Yuck. Are you even trying, computer? Galactic slime? You are. I think I'm allergic to that, aren't I? Splar? Splarg? 
Seriously? Are you trying to make me unplug you, computer? Oh, come on! You love Splarg! Guess I'm eating Splarg today. I think they're all just the same cereal without a... Has a 0 .001 pH imbalance today. May I suggest more whole grain nutrient paste? Okay, so I got a tube for that. We go on next, sweetie. We have to defend the friendship circle. Oh, I just don't know who would attack those poor defenseless cuties. To the teleporter room. I think I'm just gonna go on a repeat, but I want to see what the general idea is for each of these beforehand. I'm aboard the distressed vessel Friendship Circle. I found one of the crew. And I will not pay attention to him. Fake controls. What a surprise. And then what's over here? More fake controls. Yep, sounds about right. Fake. Fake controls. What a surprise. Yep, because this is all just a thing to keep him what happy. Here? <laughs> From an enemy vessel? Or an alien creature? <sighs> or did you attack yourselves in a fit of space madness? It was a... Yes. Ah. <laughs> This all sounds really miserable. Paste for you today. Space meat in a blanket. <sighs> so is there a way to should we go on next, sweetie? So based on I gotta get out of this routine. So I think if there's a I think of all of these, I think the one that's like gonna be able to be like fucked up is the train wreck, because I think you could do it. I knew you choo choose that one. To system seven. Yep, so we're gonna do the train again. It's gonna be like, ah! We're gonna crash into Spike Canyon! <laughs> Let's go! Well, bye! What's that, son? Did you say wake up the bridge, man? That's such a good idea! Wake up, bridge man! Wait, now don't do anything else! I'm going to let go! Bye! What are you doing? Shane! What were you thinking? You could have saved us so easily! I never had a season! Huh. <laughs> He's just bored. <laughs> That's a lot of spikes. This is a very long fall. Oh, damn it. Oh, there's something down here. Having fun? Huh? Who are you? When you tire of child's play, when you're ready for real danger, come see me. But tell no one. Do you understand? Okay, but no one. Hey, wait! What? What's up, Shay's daily routine? No discussion about it, young man. You need to rest and heal up in bed until further notice. Computer, I'm fine. Obviously. No, you might have a delayed fracture. That can happen. No, it can't. All missions are cancelled. I love you. <sighs> Poor Shay. Poor Shay, not knowing what to do. Let's get the hell out of here. Weird. No missions. I can do whatever? Hell yeah. So. Why do computers need sleep? He's just there as a watch. Why do computers need sleep? Health stats 100% normal, as always. Maybe I'm the robot. Missions canceled until further notice. <laughs> Whoops. Works for me. It's a humidifier, but 
I think it's some sort of mind control device. There's an air tank attached to the top of it. It's a tank of compressed air. Could be useful in an emergency. Yeah, right. Like we have those. Okay, well, that's not gonna work. What do we got here? Hmm. The air vent is screwed shut with these weird little screws. Well, gonna have to find a means to open them up. How do we open you up? It's locked. What a dirty trick. Hey, what are you doing out of bed, Buster? What am I? Your prisoner? Just until I'm sure you're safe. You have no idea how important you are, Shay. Yes, but this is fucking miserable. All right. Get out of bed again. Out of bed. So, can I... Oh, I see. So, I use you. I don't see any of those weird little screws there. So, I think... It's a tank of compressed air. Let's go. We got this. It works. Hmm. And what's that? What's this? That it looks like an inflatable raft. It looks like an inflatable raft. So combine the. Maybe this air tank has enough pressure to blow up this raft. Whoa! It looks like a blow-up doll of me. Creepy. Man, that just means the computers are really stupid if they can't tell the difference. So that's what we do with that, I guess. Hopefully, this looks enough like me to fool the warden. So from there, guess I go through the vent. Where's my little angel? Oh, there he is. Oh, I think I almost lost you today. Sleep tight, little hero. Hell yeah. Man, computers are stupid. Man, that's what I was thinking too. 